Welcome to the DV4 Mini Part 3 video. Yesterday I was working on the Raspberry Pi with DV4 Mini. And tonight I will be demonstrating uh, operation on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the model I have here is uh, Raspberry Pi 2 Mod B. Um, tonight when I left from work I had this little device in my car and my little FT1DR from Yezu and I was connected remotely to my repeater behind me uh, on the other D4, DV4 Mini uh, on the reflector FCS001 on port 50 and I had uh, my friend DL5 YDJ Delta Lima 5 Yankee Delta Juliet uh, who just came in uh, from Germany on uh, DV4 Mini on the reflector and we did add a QSO while I was driving back home what was very cool is that uh, I could see uh, on my uh, FT1DR that we had 600,100 kilometers uh, setting us apart. So that was pretty amazing. And we have a very uh, good QSO. Actually, he was telling me, uh, and there's I got some news for you from uh, Elitron, and he was telling me that even in Germany it was hard to get uh, their end on the new DV4 Mini as the quantity uh, goes uh, fast and uh, away very fast. Last weekend uh, I was able to have a QSO with uh, Kurt, uh, DJ0ABR, the conceptor of the DV4 Mini at Elitron and um, he told me that we could expect uh, delivery international uh, around October so we need to be a little bit more patient I did try uh, myself our group to get more DV4 Mini but uh, it's impossible for now so we're very happy to have this little device it keep us busy and playing with it and very amazing things and something maybe not official but uh, I believe that it's the first uh, hotspot for DMR and the first hotspot for C4FM and imagine the reflector, the, our new beta reflector uh, at least for C4FM so they need to be very, very careful, careful with the quantity they left out uh, while they're testing the beta server so please be patient this is really worth the waiting and it will be very soon available so two months is very short and you'll be very happy when you get uh, this little device and I, I'll keep uh, continuing to uh, do some video uh, about the device uh, like I said I will be uh, showing you a demonstration how it works with the Raspberry Pi I did install the VNC software uh, on the uh, little device and I'm able to connect at a distance and that's what I did in my car uh, before I left work, of course, uh, I did set it up for C4FM and you can use a remote desktop VNC type of software to be able to do so. There is an image to download uh, on, the, um, on, the web, on the web right now uh, where the software is for the DV4 Mini. You can see down below all my video, I have the links. And you can download the image and start working on it. And uh, but this uh, it took me a little while. I'm not very familiar with uh, Raspberry Pi, even if I did play with Linux before. Uh, but it was a uh, it was a fun project to make it work. And this is very small, very you can put this in your glove compartment in a car, and there you go, full meter. So very very nice. And I'd like to salute uh, my friend uh, Joachim, which I had a nice QSO uh, tonight with him while driving from home. Also, uh, later on tonight, I will be testing DMR with Eric V 2 nbz And uh, this will be our next video. But for now, I will do the demonstration for the Raspberry Pi. And uh, stay tuned for more video to come. So let's go with the demonstration. What you see here is uh, my repeater, uh, which the DV4 Mini is connected. So you can see the, fre the frequency here, 448775RX and TX at 443775. What's new on this, in the software is they added another digital mode. So it's, it's capable of doing four mode now, which is D-Star, C4FM, DMR, NP25 for those interested 
In the expert setting, they also added a gateway for C4FM repeater call, V2 PVR, which is my repeater call, call sign. So I'm connected to the C4FM Fusion Reflector FCS001 on port 50. Okay. A pretty cool addition as well is when it's re re receiving a call sign and you click on picture, you get the picture from the, the main picture from the QRZ. So that's pretty interesting. Okay. I'm going to show you here you have the reflector. You can see I did transmit 10 minutes ago. Uh, with my call sign VA2PV and you see my repeater as well is V2PVR so my V2PV station uh, is uh, actually configured in the Raspberry Pi so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open my remote desktop if you want a VNC session with my Raspberry Pi I will connect at a distance hold on I'll just type my password there you see the Raspberry Pi I'm gonna open the DV4 mini software on the Raspberry Pi will take a, a few moments that's pretty cool because uh, I can actually uh, access with it with my okay. cell phone you can hear now uh, that I was connected and this one is set up at 446-275 and is connected to C4FM Fusion FCS1 on port 50. Same thing as my other DV4 Mini. What's important to know is that what you hear, you see here is um, an internal address for my cell phone hotspot, uh, which I use for Wi-Fi for my Raspberry Pi and I was able to connect in the remote desktop session because I'm using uh, my WLAN config configuration so if I go here and I type CMD and I go to IP uh, config whoops sorry I, IP config then you will see that I have uh, my LAN connection with its, which is wire and the first D4 mini is configured on it and you have my uh, Wi-Fi connection which is my cell phone which is in the same network as the DV4 mini on my Raspberry Pi so to make it simple I'm actually using my FT1 DR my little portable on the simplex frequency here I'm getting in the DV4 mini I get carry uh, through the internet uh, with the to the re to the reflector if you want, <laughs> and from the reflector I am sent back to my other DV4 Mini, which is connected in, in the same reflector on my uh, repeater frequency. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transmit on my uh, FT1DR you will see the reception here and you will see on my desktop the transmission on my repeater Victor Alpha 2 testing Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor testing so you just see then I'm going to do the reverse I'm going to use my FT991 and I'm going to transmit on the repeater frequency Victor Alpha 2 Papa Victor testing there you go on this one on the Raspberry Pi you don't see my call sign because it is masked with my repeater call sign which is V2 PVR like I said last station heard here you see my picture on QRZ this concludes our part 3 uh, video of the DV4 Mini. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and stay tuned because the next video will be the DMR one which will be testing the DV4 Mini. Uh, Eric V2MBZ was telling me that uh, today was able to do a QSO on DMR Plus because in North America we're using mainly DMR Mark 
and uh, he was able to do a bridge with his uh, Motorola repeater and was able to do a test with a French station on the MR Plus. So please subscribe because the video will be uh, the next video will be on the MR. On behalf of our team, I would like to wish you my best 73. Thank <laughs> you.